the first step is uh, to publish the model and to activate the model in VicoOffice. Uh, so going from the BIM application to the VicoOffice environment. And the workflow is very simple. Um, you open the model in Revit, Constructor, Archicad, Tecla, and uh, any future or any future uh, uh, BIM applications that will, uh, will support. Um, after that is completed, we'll go into VicoOffice and activate the model, uh, selecting which properties we want to use to generate the initial set of takeoff items. Let's go ahead and, uh, and open the uh, instructor model. Um, this uh, fairly basic structure has uh, some floor slabs and walls and, and columns um, that we will um, price and, uh, and schedule inside VicoOffice. We'll select the Vico Office menu item and click the Publish to Vico Office option. From there, we get a, um, a dialog that uh, presents the, the list of projects that we currently have inside the, uh, the Vico Office environment. What we want to do is publish this model as a new version to an existing model. Uh, so therefore, we uh, select the, the file name that already is in the project and hit the Publish button. That collects all the, uh, the geometry and the properties in the project and stores that in the Vehicle Office database. When it's completed, I click OK and I can open the Vehicle Office environment. And as we just saw already, there was a version 1. Uh, we added a second version, version 2. And none of the models, none of the versions, have been activated yet, which is why this model space is empty. Uh, so what we will do is select that version 2 and hit the Activate Model button, or right-click and select Activate from the context menu. That opens the Takeoff Item Creation Settings dialog, in which you define how the initial set of takeoff items uh, that we'll use in Takeoff Manager will be created. Um, at the moment, that is set to element type, layer, and ID, which means that each entry that is created in Takeoff Manager is a combination of those three. The more properties you select, the more granular that list is going to be. But that is something to take into account if you work with larger models. So that will result in a large list of, uh, of takeoff items, which may or may not be desirable. For the purpose of this demo, we remove ID and layer and we'll limit the number of takeoff items uh, based on the element types, uh, types that we have in the, in the model. There's no MEP in this uh, model, uh, so we don't have to worry about these settings. Uh, but the same goes as for the architectural and structural elements. The more properties that you select, the more granular uh, the list of takeoff items will be. In addition, you see an option here, use recipe data to create takeoff items. This is when you have a constructor model that contains recipe information. Um, if you select the option, use recipe data to create takeoff items, um, the uh, list of uh, initial takeoff items will be created based on the recipe assignment in the constructor model. So I go ahead and use the, just the element type. and hit Activate. And during the activation, uh, EcoOffice displays the uh, geometry of the model. And it uh, does the, uh, the, the quantity calculation, uh, reading the, the geometry and, uh, and calculating the, uh, uh, the, the quantities that are needed for, for cost planning and scheduling. It includes the, the first part. Um, any questions so far? I know I have a question. In the first release, we supported uh, Tecla, Archicad, Revit, and our own constructor. In R3, what are the new file formats or publishers that we'll be uh, touting? That would be uh, CADduct and AutoCAD Architecture and AutoCAD Building Systems. Great. And I saw that you were using a model activation right mouse click. Mm -hmm. Is that part of the overall VICO concept of model management? 
Is that consistent throughout the VICO office suite? What is uh, consistent is right-clicking on an item always presents a context menu with the relevant uh, functions that are available for that item. Um, what's also consistent is that when you're in, in a certain view, uh, the ribbon always presents those functions that are available in that view. Perfect. So that's, that's one way that we can help make sure everyone is working on the most current model, or at least the model that they intend to work on. Uh, correct. That's the uh, so model management always shows all the versions of the models that have been published, and it indicates when it is not the most current model that is active in the project. Well, here's a question from our audience. When you reactivate a model or activate a new version of the model, should TOIs be overwritten or added to? They will be added to. If you have two models uh, that are combined in one uh, VICO office project, um, and they use the, uh, the, the same way of uh, model activation, uh, they may result in the same takeoff items. If the takeoff item already exists in the project, uh, it will be added to the existing takeoff item. Well, great. Well, speaking of takeoff items, can we go ahead and jump to takeoff manager? Let's do it.